it's a demon in my shoes. Picking up my purses, got an ass. I was ugly as my past. Need some cash and a mask. What's in that bag? I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Poiti Tulo. Yes. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good, good. But you were, you were also rapping oh along there. Oh, my gosh. There. I look like such a celebrity in these pics. <laughs> gosh. Oh, oh, anyway, so sorry. you are just a normal person. You're you know. Poiti the rapper now, man. I know. Yeah. How where cool. does that even come from? Like, where does that... Because we've known you as, you know, from the days of TV adverts to TV star to, mm -hmm. you know, acting, all of that. Then, rapper. Yeah. Where does that come from? Um, it's been something I've wanted to do for such a long time. It's been like a, a bubbling under kind of passion that's been hidden away and uh. snuck away for a long time. But um, everyone who knows me, everyone who's close to me, um, when I started doing this, most of them were like, finally, uh. what took you so long? Because um, where people don't see me and in my behind closed doors, I'm always just, you know, rapping and performing and, and I've got a huge love for music. So those who know me know. But for everyone else, I guess it's obviously just like a shock. And then how but does it go? How does it happen? Like, how do you come up with a song? What do you do? Like, you know, where's the inspiration? You, you write get into down. Studio. What do you do? Yeah. yeah. Well, you get into studio with someone as brilliant as Nasty C. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the process is you get into a comfortable space. And for me, I started telling him the ideas that I've always had, like because it was going to be my first single. So I knew what I wanted to get out there. You know, I wanted a club banger and. I just wanted to play with my alter ego. Now, are you going to do a song about I'm done with broke men? Because I was reading here. <laughs> so, <laughs> There's uh, a line like that in the song, actually. <laughs> and I was reading, it says, Poetry's done with broke men. How? Oh, what's that now? Oh, is that a lie? But what does that mean, though? And that's, that's what I'm asking. What does that mean? You guys make it seem like there was a day where I was like, OK, for these few years, I'm going to be dating broke men, and now I'm done. I mean, oh, how does I mean, that work? I read it now, Miss Wong Funuwaz, which I see clarify. Whatever Linda. that means, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I know what I want, uh, and obviously I'm not going to be with someone who can't support my life. Uh, and I've worked hard enough to get to where I am. I can't meet someone who does not either meet me halfway or is way beyond me. Uh, That's all I'm saying. And if y'all want to call it broke man, I don't know. That's y'all. Put it on y'all. <laughs> that's just like you're born. Hey, Inzi, man. I'm just saying, I'm just going to support that. I'm going to get petrol in the recession. What must I say? Now I can't even have a chance. <laughs> Hi, good rap. You guys are, you know, don't, good rap, good rap, good rap. Into trouble but you're also people. doing some great things. I mean, apart from the rap thing, you know, you're smelling great. You know, I am. Yeah, I'm like, Impulse. I'm like, what is this fragrance? What's going on here? What's See? happening? Uh, you're rocking. Impulse, yes. Impulse by Boy T. Oh no. Gosh. Oh no. Got my name on a heritage brand as huge as Impulse. That's for me. That's like. It's like a teenage dream come true. So, like, it's if people want to get it, like, what, like, you know, they want to do the whole impulse thing. What do they do? Uh, you go to Discam, you go to Pick and Pay, anyway, you go to Shoprite, you go Dao. wherever, yeah. Sang -an 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 wherever you're gonna bro. find, where you need spray, body spray, deodorant, whatever, you'll find. Actually, I pay must then you pay after no, ten minutes. I worked hard enough for it. Oh, were people you are part gonna of be surprised. Were you part of that whole process? I created it. If you smell it, you're smelling Boiti in a bottle. Hi! I'm not joking. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, I mean, does that sound weird? Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Boiti in a bottle. You just got a dirty ass mind. I didn't say anything. That's your issue. Was that? Now, was that? Was That's a that? really good question. Was that? I mean, I don't know. Let's get to the Sport of 10 quiz now, right? This is okay, the Sport of 10 quiz. cup. You when was the last it. time I was here? Yeah, but, uh, you know, we can't even remember. And Gosh. you took our cupcakes then, but we decided this time we're not going to. And with the song being Was That, right? Mm -hmm. We decided that we're going to ask you a quiz that has Was That in it. You need to tell us Was That. Okay. All right. So, All right. we're going to start out with this, Boy TV. Interesting. Now, this is cricket. When it hits the batsman on the leg like this, and he is told that he is out. What's oh. that? <laughs> That's, at least I know a little bit about cricket. That's LBW. Leg before wicket. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. All right. Miss, I don't do anything sport comes with LBW from oh, nowhere. I, I'm not saying I don't do sport. You say, like, soccer is not a oh, thing. Oh, yeah, sprinter. But at least the cricket is like mole le mole, you know? OK. And of okay. course, we'd always go and watch it. All right, OK. Yeah. One down. Let's give you the next question. Yeah. Was that? 
When the guy oh, throws the ball on somebody like that and up. slams it through the hoop, what's that? That's a slam dunk. Oh my goodness. Everybody knows Don't that. Don't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. <laughs> See, I'm coming with the rap, like you know? I'm what's coming that? With, what's that? What's that? That's a rap. That, is a, that is a slap dunk. You got two out of three, it's called a slam dunk. The third one, surely this is the one that will catch you out. Surely. You know when uh, Golam Lambo hits the ball there I... with the back of his, you know? What is that? What's that? That that pass. Le pass le from the back. What did you do? Le pass le pega le pass yes. from Anganjan. Yeah, but they put from the heel. He just dribbled him up. And then ta. Ah, boy, What's that? That? Kusha, that? Kusha, that? Kusha, that? He just passed it. Kusha, I don't know, he dribbled him. Kai gas ku wa kee dide. With his heel, he passed yeah, with so the heel. Yeah, so by design, Leo. Eh, guys, so by design. Heel pass. Eish. What's up, boy? Heel. Yeah, what's up, boy? Back pass. Okay, let's let's just say. So, golem number with a great heel pass. Imagine. Pass. That works. No, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. What is it? Kids are the cupcake. Ten day. 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 Give it that heel dunk. <laughs> I got Thomas. I got the crazy Thomas. A, 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 a rapper nickname. What is it? Young Opa. Young Opa. Young Opa. Confusing the A name, com comrade. They don't know whether oh, you are young or yes. too fit to young Opa in the house. Oh, What's you that? know, you know what um, Nigerians call guys like that? All women. Like what? Old Papa Yangi. Papa Yangi. Old Papa Yangi. It's like you. We're gonna <laughs> leave it there. You're old, but then you're young. So We're gonna old leave. Papa Yangi. Wait, it's too long. Thank Killed you for herself. being with us. <laughs> We're going to leave you with the words you hear every single week. Me. If you're not watching Sport at 10, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I'm open in the house, man. Old Papa Yangi. <laughs>